Thank you for joining us again. In the studio today, we have Shyam Sundar from ISKCON in Melbourne. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. And you. Would you be able to tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? So I was born in India and uh, I did my bachelor's of uh, electronics and communication and engineering. I did my MBA. I worked for companies like Ericsson, Microsoft, uh, with likes of Bill Gates. And uh, it was back in 2009 when I started thinking about what's the goal of my life. Right. I mean, uh, everybody studies, they make money, they have children, and then they die. So is this really the purpose of life uh, that I am going through? And, uh, you know, we have this famous quote, it says, Ahar Nidya Bhaya Char, which means that uh, everybody is involved in eating, mating, sleeping, and defending, uh, whether it's an animal or whether it is human being. The only difference is we would have a better bed we would probably have a, you know, uh, a better eating cooked food, but there's not much of a difference. And then, you know, I, I started, uh, under, I started going depth into it, uh, which is called Atatu Brahma Jigyasa, which means, uh, what is the goal of a human life? And it is then when I met my spiritual master in 2013, uh, His Holiness Bhakti Charu Maharaj, and uh, I was uh, initiated into spirituality by him. Uh, and I got the name Shamsun Krishnadas also from him. Uh, and since then, this is when I've been practicing the spirituality. So that's a brief about me, myself. Fantastic, that's very interesting. Uh, and ISKCON, Melbourne. Hmm. Uh, could you talk a little bit about, sure. about that? Sure. Uh, well, ISKCON, um, a full uh, acronym ISKCON stands for mm -hmm. International Society for Krishna Consciousness and uh, this was started by our founder Acharya uh, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Srila Prabhupada uh, at the age when he was 69 years old when people generally take rest in their life he decided to start his journey from India to go to US on the order of his spiritual master that he needs to propagate the holy name so it's just like, you know, any musician, because he's reattached really to music, he would want that he would impart that knowledge of music to others mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, make them enriched. Similarly, a scientist would think that, okay, let me give what I have. And similarly, a spiritualist would want that whatever I have got peace and happiness, let me spread all over. So Srila Prabhupada, on the order of his spiritual master, decided that I want to spread the holy name not only in India, but all over the world. Um, there's a famous thing, uh, sentence that Srila Prabhupada said that the Britishers took away our wealth but forgot the spirituality here. So I'm going back and going to give them the spirituality. Right? So in, when he was 70 years old, in 1966, 13th of July, he founded this uh, uh, institution called ISKCON. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most important word out here is consciousness. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, you are conscious that you are a woman mm -hmm. all the time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. you, you are conscious that you are a daughter or you have a partner. There is not even an iota of time that you are not aware that you are not a woman. Mm -hmm. So it is in that consciousness that one has to be aware that God is there. It is one thing to believe God is there, but to be conscious is just another thing, right? So, so Srila Prabhupada basically said the most important word is consciousness. And then this word Krishna. Mm -hmm. So Krishna means one who is all attractive. So if I am attractive because of my knowledge, I can be attractive because of my strength. I can be attractive because of my opulence, mm -hmm. right? I can be attractive just because I look quite good. But one who is supreme, he should be able to attract anyone with anything and he should have everything. Then only he is supreme. And therefore he is a pers personality because if he is attractive then he needs to have personality as well. 
So just like we have a personality. Mm -hmm. So that's why he founded this society called International Society for Krishna Consciousness and um, uh, basically started the movement called Bhakti Yoga. So we call, we know about this word yoga, mm. right? So yoga comes from the word called yuj. Yuj means to connect, but to connect where? To connect within ourselves, within ourselves where the Lord is sitting, right? And uh, bhakti means devotion. Mm. But you can be devoted only when you love somebody. You, know, you, you, can't, you can't be devoted to somebody if you don't love. You will just do it probably as a transaction, as a business. You give me money, I work for you, that's it, right? I don't have no strings attached, you know, like you say. But if you're really devoted to somebody, it means you are in love with somebody. And if you're in love with somebody, you need to have some relationship. Like you love somebody in relationship with a parent. You love somebody with relationship to a friend mm -hmm. or with a conjugal partner, right? And this is the personality of the Lord where he says you can have any relationship with me. You can be my wife. Mm -hmm. You can be my partner. You can be my parent. You can be my child. You can be my friend. You choose and then love me, right? So it's not about God like only you say, oh, you're my master. You, you first develop a relationship and then you start loving it. And that's why he said Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. And he came in Melbourne in 1975, in May 19, 1975. Okay. And that's when his God Melbourne was established. I see. Uh, wow. Um, and how long have you been at the, at the temple here? Well, I've been here since uh, 2010. Okay. Yeah. So it's been more than a decade. So that, yeah, that time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, now, in terms of the Diwali Festival of Lights, yeah. can you talk a little bit about the spiritual perspective of the festival? Sure. Uh, like everybody knows, Diwali is in India is called Festival of Lights. Mm. So it comes from the word Deepa Avli. So Deepa mm -hmm. means the lights. Right, and Avli means carrying it, carrying the light. Right. It also means another called row of lights. So there are different meanings yeah. that people uh, talk about with slight variation. Now, from a spiritual perspective, we have to first understand what's the meaning of spiritual. Mm. So spiritual comes from two words, spirit and ritual. So anybody can do the ritualistic thing, mm -hmm. right? We do a ritualistic thing of cleaning our teeth, right? But if we do the ritualistic thing with the right spirit, when I clean my teeth with the right spirit that I have to go to the corner of the teeth and take out the, the black, right? Then the brushing will always be better. Mm -hmm. If you just do ritualist, you'll do it like this, do it and you'll find the black is back, mm -hmm. right? So similarly, Spiritual means doing the ritual thing with the right spirit, then you become spiritual. Mm -hmm. So similarly, if you just put the light in at your house mm -hmm. and just put the firecracker, it doesn't mean anything mm -hmm. because you've done just a ritualistic thing. Mm -hmm. right? But in true sense, light means knowledge. Mm -hmm. Light means opposite of darkness, removing of ignorance. So when we bring this light which is called Lord Ram. So this, this whole uh, epic of Ramayana, which is when Diwali started coming, is when the Lord Ram kills a demon called Ravan, who has kidnapped his wife. So it is a victory of uh, dharma or victory of good over the evil. Yes. Right? So it is, it is a knowledge that that we cannot take anybody think anybody else's thing, mm. right? Mm. Now, when we get uh, this knowledge that nothing is ours, everything belongs to God. Mm -hmm. mm. That is the true knowledge. Nothing is mine. Mm. Mm. And because all the whole life we talk about my money, my property, my house, my wife, right? This is what we talk about. Mm. But in spirituality, everything is centered about God. Mm. My wife, who has been given by you, my child who has been given by you, my money who has been given for the service of yours. Right? So, so once we get this knowledge, then Lord Ram has to decide in our heart 
this this light has to reside in our heart, which is called spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. So once we are full of bliss, right, then the true pleasure comes. Otherwise, it's a very temporary. Mm -hmm. You know, you eat something, you feel happy. When it's finished, mm -hmm. then it's gone, mm -hmm. right? You get hundred thousand dollars, you're very <laughs> happy. You get a lottery, you're very happy. Once it is deposited in the bank, life goes on. You get you forgot, you forget about it. Yeah. But true happiness is when you remember Lord all the time. You are conscious. This is called consciousness. When you when you see feel that your love is in your heart all the time, and even between man and a woman, if he's able to remember his loved one all the time, then he'll be always happy. He may be working, but he may be still smiling, right? Similarly, it is about falling in love and falling into spiritual sense, having Lord in our heart. Mm -hmm. The difference we say is like house and a home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. You may have a house, a beautiful building, right? But if you have a nice people living there and, and giving good vibes, it becomes a nice home. So this body, is like a house, mm -hmm. but if Lord Ram or the true knowledge or the light enters our heart, then it becomes a body of bliss. Yes, that's a, that's a beautiful imagery. Mm. What does Diwali mean to you? Well, Diwali means many things to me. Um, one of the principal attributes, like I talked about, is spirit of uh, celebration. Mm. Uh, celebration of what? Um, think of it when anybody comes in in our house. What do we do when any big person comes? We have a garland. You know, let's say a prime minister is going to come, right? What do we do? We we deck up the whole place, and you know, we we ensure that uh, there is a band that goes on and the music goes on, and he feels very really very welcomed, mm -hmm. right? Similarly, the Lord is just going to enter my heart. Right? Like I talk about the spiritual significance. Yes. Right? So it's like a celebration where Lord is coming my heart. I who is probably not even qualified as a human being, but he is still coming in my heart. So it's it's like a celebration. Mm -hmm. It is also a celebration of forgiveness, you know, mm -hmm. in a multicultural uh, state that we are in yes. Victoria, you know, yes. from different parts of the world that we are in. It is this this whole Vedic system is not sectarian. It's mm -hmm. not about Hindus or Muslims or Christians and so forth. Uh, it is called Sanatan. It has this this religion has been always there. It is not like one day some prophet came and it started. The Vedic system has been always there. Lord Ram came 830, 364,000 years ago. Right. Yeah. So it has all been there. And prior to that, Lord Vishnu was there. So it has always been there. Yes. So it is a matter of whereby when the Lord is coming, you know, then we should all be together. We should forget our differences. You know, when somebody comes, then then two people should not be fighting with each other, mm -hmm. right? We we should be we should be only be focused on in Him coming. So we forget our differences. Mm -hmm. We we become we become more peaceful at heart. We become humble towards each other. Like you know, in Bangladesh, for example, there has been a scenario whereby uh, the temple was attacked and and few devotees died and one should understand that when we are all in the service of the lord there should not be a sectarian feeling uh, uh, diwali brings all the people together it ensures that the differences between human beings should not be there yes, yes. and the focus is only serving the lord so yes. that's what and, yeah, I, and I suppose that's relatable to the Victorian multicultural community. That's right. As that's well. right. Yes. And and I can tell you that when when we have Diwali and I have neighbourhood where I have all the Australians and there are a few people from Fiji and Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. and uh, we have the lights. Everybody gets surprised why why there are so many lights, yes. and we distribute the gifts. We embrace each other, even if somebody doesn't know me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like a New Year where from the next day they start knowing me. You know, yes. new people and yes. we make new friends, we make uh, new relationships yeah. and, and it's a beautiful thing to be in loving exchange with everyone and yeah. harmony. Yeah, new connections. Right. Yes. Just finally, do you have any uh, messages for our viewers for Diwali? Sure. I would sincerely request all of you that on this day, please 
ensure that you meet everyone with a lot of love and affection. Put light in your heart, put light around your house and pray to the Lord that you will always get his mercy, his bliss, and you will always serve the humanity with the best of your ability and truthfulness and righteousness. Thank you. Shai and thank you so much for coming in today. Thank it's you been so a pleasure. Much. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thanks for watching.